If timber's hitting the ground, you bet two brothers are around. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to the homestead of Two Brothers Outdoors. Today we are going to be sawing up a few ash logs. Uh, we had a log yard set up so that we could get the logs in the winter time when the snow got too deep. They got kind of forgotten about and we had a bunch of ash from dead ash trees. The ash borer beetle is killing the hell out of our trees. So we take the logs down before they get punky. We stacked them up in a pile and then we just didn't do anything with them. So what we've been doing is we've been cutting up logs and uh, junk logs like that and then selling the uh, boards in a lot, you know, like 10 boards for a certain amount of money or whatever. We, we figure out the board footage of it, drop it by a few bucks, and then advertise it as a lot. And we've been doing pretty good with that. So today we're going to saw up a bunch of ash logs. We've got all these little ash logs of trees that have died. And we're going to saw them up and see what we can get out of them. So come on with us. These are some hard maple logs that we brought up out of the log yard as well. They're solid as a rock. And then the two ash logs that I got left on my mill, the other ones have been sawed up. See those black marks? That's from a little brush fire that got a control on us. These are six 1x8s that we took out of one of the logs that we took out of the log yard. Pretty nice boards. Okay guys, we're going to head over to Tim's. He's got a bunch of these little logs over there and we're going to saw them up first. This is my big mud hole. It's supposed to be a pond. We're having a little bit of a drought right now and the pond ain't doing so good. Alright, we got one log set up on the mill. Now this is probably, I'm going to say this log might be 12 inches, 10 inches. See the crack right here? We will turn that check this way when we start cutting boards. And you'll only have one board with that check in it. This log looks like it's a pretty rough shape. But I think once we get into it, we'll probably get some pretty good boards out of it. These are the rest of the ash, the small ash that we took out. All these trees were killed by the ash, the green ash, the emerald boar beetle or something like that. We call it the ash beetle. It's killing the hell out of our trees. All right, guys, let's see what we can get out of some of these logs. Well, Tim's having battery issues with his mill, so he's going to put another battery on it. While he's doing that, I got the keys to the hot rod. We got to order to deliver tomorrow, so I'll take the hot rod over and load it up with the wood. Well, the log had more of a taper to it than we thought, so we had to put a tow board under this end. Right there. And now it's 
starting to cut boards. Notice that the check is horizontal. Alright, so on his next cut, that check that goes all the way across will be in the center of the next board. And it doesn't go that deep so it won't split the board. Alright, so that check is running through the board like this. It only goes back in about this far. But what will happen is if that check was running like this, that board would open right up. With the check running horizontal with the grain, that board won't open up anymore. Okay, that log yielded eight one by sevens. That wood is solid. There's no worm holes in it. There's no ant holes in it. There's no rot in it. Even though that log looked punky on the outside edges. Got one little check right there. That won't hurt anything. Like I said, we will sell this wood at a discount rate. Just so that we can get something out of these small logs. Okay, this is the next log going on. And you can see that log don't look all that great. But I'll guarantee you there's solid boards once we get past this punk. Alright, so we had to change blades real quick. That was the blade that he saw that order of locust with. It probably should have been changed out before we started today. He said he asked me and I said no, it'd be alright. I don't remember that. Of course you don't. Selective memory. Okay, this log looks pretty rough. We'll have to see what we get into here, but it's got some real bad punk on the outside. Okay, we're going to push for seven on this one. Hopefully we'll be able to get seven. Is that seven? Do it. Alright, due to the shape of the log, it's going to be too narrow right there, so we had to drop down to 6 inches. So we're going to end up with 6 inch wide boards. Alright, so we're going to end up with 6 inch boards. Uh, tell you what, once we open that log up, it was solid. We're going to have some good boards. When you're cutting wood like this, you can't, you can't fool around. You can't play with the flitches. you got to get rid of them. Alright, that first board is a little punky on the end. It's solid about 8 inches in. On this end, this end's solid. But, when we sell it as a lot, a little cheaper than we normally sell it for, you got to expect a little bit of defense. If you're cutting wood like this to uh, sell at a discount rate, you can't spend a lot of time playing with the scrap, trying to squeeze every little board out of it. It's kind of like a commercial operation. You want to get it cut as fast as you can. Okay, so we didn't do too bad tonight. Saw it for about an hour. Still got one, two, three, four, five, six logs left, and we got two over at my mill. We will get all these sawn before we make up our mind what we're going to ask for the pile. We're going to take you all the way through the process till the money hits our hand. Alright guys, thanks for watching our videos. Hit that subscribe button. It's still free. I don't know about you, but free is for me. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up if you like our videos. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.